Gowlin Space Author Richard Jaw Illustrator Lavanya Karthik Tomorrow is my birthday, a day of special fun I want the stars to wish me the moon too, and the sun I wake up in the morning and look at what I see A rocket waiting outside, I try and hide my glee The rocket is all fired up, my bags are packed and full Whoosh! It roars and shoots up, I'm astronaut Madame Go my cat, she shakes and trembles, my head spins round and round. In just a few minutes, we are way above the ground. Six hours later, here it is my new home in outer space, they call it space station, hello, you beautiful place. Boing. We go from step to step. I hardly feel my legs. Before we even know it, we turn down on our heads. And then begins the floating, to the left and to the right. Drifting through the air we go, and twisting to the side. Oops. My bag turns upside down and out come two jalabas. Samosas that I packed so well. I think they've all gone crazy. They bump around and float across the crumbs and icky juice. I'll stick to labeled packets of these special space foods. My hair is all so sticky, the clothes are such a mess. My cat, she tries to lick me clean, a bath will work the best. But here's a little secret. There are no taps in space. I wet this towel just a bit and wipe it on my face. Then squeeze some shampoo in my hair and rub it through and through. A final proper wiping, my hair looks clean and new. I get into my spacesuit for a very special day. Come and join me in the fun, it's space walk all the way. Step by step I go outside, a slow and dangerous crawl. It's dark and cold and quiet, I'm connected to the walls. The stars are shining clear and bright, they look so big and near. The moon just smiles and seems to say happy birthday, gull dear. It's time for me to head back in and get some cozy rest. The space walk was so tiring, that was scary, but the best. This is where I need to sleep, my bed for next few days. What fun it is to squeeze right in and strap myself in place. I wake up after some time, no minute we can waste, but first I go and brush my teeth, and swallow all the paste. I want to speak to Amy, my laptop strapped in place. Hello, who's that? She screams from there, I'm Gull from outer space. I tell her of the things I've done, of magic that is space. Of how the earth looks far from here, of this station's funny ways. I live in space for two full months, it's time to head back soon. Far away we hear some child wish for journeys to the moon. Raise your hand if that is you and keep your bags all checked. My cat and I return tonight, it'll soon be your turn next. Did you know? You need to sit inside a rocket to go into space. There are different kinds of rockets, but the most common one is the kind that Gull and her cat go in. The rocket takes them to the International Space Station, IS, which is Gull's home in space for two months. They use a spacecraft called Soyuz to return to Earth from the IS. There are spacecrafts that go from Earth to IS carrying specially packed food and water, and other things that astronauts need to live there. 
Gull has to be careful with the use of water inside the space station. Every drop is precious. Gull and the other objects inside the is float like balloons. Anything that is not strapped down will float because they appear to become weightless in space. This happens because the space station itself and everything inside it are falling very fast towards Earth all the time. It is this falling with speed that makes Gull feel weightless. But if they are falling, why doesn't everything not crash onto Earth? That's because our planet is round, and as the is and everything inside it falls down, 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 the Earth's surface curves away from them and they never reach the ground. There are no taps inside the is because water cannot flow down in a weightless environment. So Gull has to use a special shampoo that does not need to be rinsed off, and she also swallows her toothpaste. If Gull leaves a water bag open by mistake, drops of water will start floating all over the space station and combine to form a big ball of water.